What I have right in front of me is not really just a plain cable. While it looks boring, there's actually something that's really cool about this. So way back in 2014, there was rumors that Apple was going to be including a reversible USB cable in the box with the new iPhone. Now, not necessarily just like lightning, but like this, USB-A, what we all have in our computers, what we know it can only go in one way and it takes three tries to plug in that thing. This was gonna be reversible. That didn't end up happening as we know today, but reversible type A USB connectors actually started to become popular and a thing in 2016 until they died off shortly afterwards. There's really not much left of reversible USB type A's around, but I have a cable that I've been using for a while and I just kind of forgot about the fact that it's reversible. So about five years later, after it was originally coming out and people were getting excited about it, let's take a look at this old tech that people don't really know about anymore. Reversible type A. This is actually a really cool cable that I'm not sure if we made a video on or not, but it's actually pretty awesome. One end is USB type A, and on the other, we have three different cables, micro USB, lightning, and USB type C. This is a really awesome cable that I use whenever I travel. You can not only charge multiple devices at one time, but you can use it one cable for every device. It's you really handy and I like it a lot. But USB type A was a thing of the past in 2016 with the rumor of USB type C. This thing right here, reversible, smaller, can go in phones and computers, very exciting, but not quite ready yet. It was only just renounced in 2014 and not on anything in 2016. Back then we had micro USB and that was pretty much it. Lightning on the iPhone was pretty cool because it was reversible, but what about this end? In 2016, products are coming out with a reversible USB type A and the way this works is actually pretty interesting. If we take a look inside of a normal USB cable, we'll see that there is a white solid piece of plastic that's on the bottom of the connector and an open piece above it. It only goes in one way and it's keyed to match the port that you're plugging it into. But on this cable right here, which is reversible, as you can see, we have a thinner piece of plastic that's sitting halfway in between right in the middle of the top and the bottom of the connector. Now with this, we can plug it in either way. Since you do need space in order for it to plug in, what happens is when you plug it in a certain way, this middle plastic piece will actually get bent down or up depending on which way you're plugging it in. It'll get bent just slightly, but just enough that it's a little scary. Now, unfortunately, I would not be having to stand here explaining this to you if this technology did not take off and it did not. This is the only reversible USB type A thing I have ever gotten, ever owned, and really have ever seen. I bought this cable because of this, not because of that. That is a cool feature and a nice addition, but reversible USB type A did not take off. And that's fine because type C is becoming more of the standard today. That's what we see on a lot of devices but we still do not have reversible USB type A in pretty much anything. I would have liked to have seen that be more prevalent. I hate plugging in USB type A even today. I was working in my server rack this afternoon and I could not plug in something behind my server because I could not figure out which way is up and down. Reversible type A would have come in really handy then, but it didn't. But either way, it's a cool technology. If you have not checked this out, uh, be sure to check out your reversible USB cable. It's pretty interesting how it works and it's fun. I like it a lot. Um, I'll see if I can find a link to this in the description. I'll check down there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find this or not, but uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that was a fun look at the past. If you have any comments about this, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.